it's your girl Lilium here Welcome to Q&A that I've been very excited to do for a while And I'm gonna mostly um, softly speak and hope you will still find it relaxing So, um, first of all I want to say thanks for so many awesome questions I read all the comments on that video and really loved all the great questions you guys came up with so there are a lot of questions so let's get started and have my laptop here with me so that I can see what you guys said and answer them first question is why did I start making ASMR videos? Well, um, we are back in 2010 where I was uh, struggling with major depression and my mental illness, borderline personality disorder and I was in a really bad stage in my life Therefore, I suffered from a lot of insomnia And I um, started looking up videos online For first hypnosis Then it was Like music And Finally, I started searching for A relaxing voice and that led me to finding the whispering community and some of my mentors that I still look up to this day to day Next question is um, Do I improvise my videos or do I have a script? I never have things planned down to every last little detail of what I'm gonna say I, uh, many times I like to improvise because otherwise I feel like I am smothered in my own idea of how things should be and how perfect it has to be before I can make a video come to life so mostly I like to write down very loosely an idea I have for a video and typically 20 minutes before or an hour before I start recording the video I can actually feel this burst of uh, creative energy uh, flowing through my body and then I just, I just know exactly what I have to do How many tattoos do I have? I have 6 tattoos Are you Danish? Yes, I am born and raised in Denmark Danish is my first language So, yeah Who is my favorite person that I watch that makes ASMR? It's hard to name one person um, I really like Softly Galashis because she is so natural in her way of expressing herself I really like Fairy Shar because she is just so sweet and she seems genuine, like a real genuine person and I love Whispers Red um, and her energy is just soothing and amazing What do my friends and family think about me doing ASMR videos? Well, for a long time I didn't tell them that I did ASMR videos um, because I didn't know how to express it in a way I didn't know whether, like, I was afraid they would misunderstand me uh, and that it was something fetish related <laughs> which it, it obviously isn't but my parents and my yeah, my whole family and my friends 
really think that ASMR seems amazing and that they're proud of me for doing what I love to do. How many languages do I speak? Well, obviously Danish, <laughs> my first language, and English I also speak fluently. I also used to be quite fluent in Spanish. I speak a bit of French, a bit of German, very little Japanese, a bit of Italian, Dutch a little bit, a bit of Swedish, a bit of Norwegian, um, a little here and there, but Danish and English are definitely my main languages. Which of my tattoos and piercings are my favorites? Well, obviously I love my Medusa piercing. I've had it for three years now. And I really don't regret getting it, even if it was daunting to get a facial piercing that is so out there. You know, like it's in the middle of my face, so it's hard to overlook. Um, but I definitely don't regret getting it, and yeah, it's just a part of me now that I can't see myself without. And so far, my favorite tattoo, I think, has got to be my 27 tattoo, which is under my collarbone. How did I come up with the, the character Rosita? Well, as many of my ideas, Rosita was kind of a spontaneous idea. Um, and it was just kind of like, when I filmed the first video, um, I just sat there and I put on, I had a, like this strong urge to be very feminine when I wore this uh, turquoise wig. And then I thought, why not put some lipstick on there? And I just got into character of someone that I guess I wasn't prepared for. It was kind of like she almost emerged by herself. Um, I know it sounds a bit creepy, but it was like she wanted to be here with us and not so much that I decided. It was more that she emerged when I put on this turquoise wig. <laughs> Do I believe in ghosts? I definitely believe in the paranormal. I uh, do believe in spirits. And I'm a very spiritual person, so yes, I definitely believe in ghosts. If I didn't do ASMR for a career, then what career would I choose for? That's a very tough question because I have been through so many different stages of what I wanted to be in my life. And for me, it's so hard to say what kind of job I want. But I think um, if Lush would ever come to Denmark, open a shop in Denmark, I would definitely apply for a a job in Lush as, you know, salesperson. Who am I voting for? And I guess that this person means Hillary or Trump. And I'm in Denmark, I'm not from the States, so I don't vote. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Besides League of Legends, then which is my favorite video game or computer game. Um, I've been turned on to Left 4 Dead 2 recently and really enjoying playing Left 4 Dead. Um, other than that, I really enjoy the old Zelda games, Ocarina of Time. I really love playing Little Big Planet, Dead Space, Guitar Hero. 
um, Red Dead Redemption and Yeah, The Sims. I also used to play at one point Are you going to make another Whispers of Nashtia video? I'm strongly considering it, considering it um, because it was a different kind of video and I quite enjoyed making it and getting into character of Nashtia. How do I feel about how far the ASMR community has come in the past few years? I really think that it is amazing how far it has come and it's amazing to be able to be a part of such a positive development in the world, to actually be part of a movement that is, you know, it's about helping others, it's about making the world better. Um, but I think that we've only seen the tip of the iceberg and that ASMR is on the rise and it's only going to get bigger and I'm really excited for that. Will you do more meditation videos? Yes, I will do more meditation videos. Have I attended any um, any casting calls for acting recently? Uh, and do I plan on pursuing such opportunities? Um, no, I haven't and I don't plan on pursuing acting. Um, it's just... <laughs> It's a fun little thing, like I love acting, but I I don't think about pursuing it any further than to just, you know, having it as a fun thing I do. What has been the difficult part uh, of having such a public profile on the internet? I definitely say that, um, Like, I love all my subscribers, I love all you guys, um, and I appreciate the endless amounts of support that I get, but, um, you know, the hardest part is, I think, that all the punches you have to roll with, and all the, you know, meaningless rude comments you can get from people, um, that doesn't really make any sense. They just say things to hurt you. I think that's uh, the most difficult part is to have to, yeah, you have to stand up to a lot of uh, nasty things people can say and they think you, they know you and they say things about you that are not true. Are you ever going to do another massage video with another person? And uh, to that I can say yes. Um, I have found uh, several people who would like to be a part of my videos. Um, so I look forward to having them in my videos soon. Where I can, you know, yeah, use them. <laughs> it's a bit of a rough word. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that they will put up with my tingly ASMR stuff and let me use their bodies as I see fit. What do I think about free will and destiny? I definitely think that some things, um, were meant to happen in the order that they happen. But I also believe that we have the power to change our present for the better. So a mix between the two, I guess, because um, I do believe in that there is a sort of, you know, the energy we exude to the world will come back to us and thus, you know, sending us on this energetic path that will lead us to something else. And it's like constantly you start one place and you go further and further. And the energy you you vibrate 
throughout your life uh, is ultimately what's gonna end, you know, end up putting you in the place where you will be. Will my feminine sidekick Melissa return? Um, I just, I just did one video with Melissa because, um, I chose to call her Melissa because that was what my mother would have called me, um, instead of my real name, uh, she would have called me Melissa, but, um, my dad didn't like it, so, I don't know, it was just kind of like a one-time video thing, but... I can definitely make more videos in Danish if you guys would like that. And someone asks if I believe in magic. <clears throat> um, I do not believe that magic exists. I believe that psychic powers exist. It is... Uh, some things cannot be explained, um, but to me magic is an illusion. Whereas psychic powers actually is something real that we just don't understand yet, and thus we call it magic. But um, you could say that, you know, I don't believe in, yeah, optical illusions and, yeah, magic tricks, but I do believe in uh, psychic powers and telekinesis and stuff like that. How old am I? Um, some people have been shocked when I tell them that I am in fact 29 years old and I'll be 30 next summer. And do I work out or not? Um, I don't work out at this moment in time, but working out is something I really want to go back to. Do I like being an ASMR artist? I definitely like what I do. I love what I do. And uh, artist has always been something I've considered myself to be. Even from a very early age, I was very preoccupied with, um, you know, uh, dancing, acting, drawing and painting. And being creative in any way I could get to be creative. So I guess um, the artist gene is just something that I have deep inside of me ever since I was a kid. And am I happy? Yes, I am definitely happy as things are at this moment in time. Um, there are still a lot of things I need to look out for and keep track on. But uh, I feel like my life is taking a giant turn for the better, um, reconnecting with old friends and developing new uh, connections with people. So I'm really, really happy in the stage where I am right now. Where in Denmark do I live? I live, uh, I'll say as much as I live on Zealand, which is the island where Copenhagen is. What are some of my favorite things to do when I'm not doing an ASMR? I love going for walks. I love playing computer. I love taking long showers, watching Netflix, and uh, going out to dinner, going to the cinema, going shopping for clothes or yeah, in general, just um, hanging out with people that I care, care for. Do I believe that the judgment of one's action, actions and circumstances are affected directly by the universe? I definitely uh, believe in energy and that it's very real. Um, that energies definitely affect our mood, the way we act, the way we perceive things. Um, so yeah, I definitely believe in, in that. And someone asks if I could up update you guys on my personal life uh, since the breakup I had a few months back. 
I don't have any plans on uh, elaborating more about that so um and that is a closed chapter by now so uh, I don't feel like there's a need to talk about that do I like wearing hats? yeah I do I have a few snapbacks and a few um yeah what do they call it? yeah like a few hats you know like <laughs> uh, but I very much do like it but with my dreads they're so thick that I just wear hoodies instead of hats as it is for now if I could come back in my next life as an animal which animal would it be? Um, I think I would come back I've always wanted to be a deep sea creature so I would like to come back as an orca or a dolphin because dolphins are so cute and social and extremely intelligent and someone asks uh, if I will marry them <laughs> And thank you for your cute question, but um, I cannot, so there is a reason for that that um, that I'll probably fill you guys in on when more time has passed so what was my first comment on YouTube? I don't remember because <laughs> uh, I had an old channel that I deleted um, and I started that back in 2010, so um, I can I cannot remember uh, what the comment was. Sorry. What has the impact of my ASMR channel and the viewer community here had upon my real life, as uh, well as my real personality? Um, I think that more than ever I have learned to embrace who I really am and even if you know a bunch of people do the same thing roughly speaking we all do it in so many individual ways that reflect us and that I do the things that reflect me so it has really taught me uh, more to be more individual and it has also taught me to believe in producing what I think is great and not everyone has to agree with the way I look is great or my videos are always great or anything like that um, so I've learned to listen more to myself and grow a bit thicker skin Has there been an ASMR video that I either regret making or an idea I haven't made yet that I'm afraid of making? Um, I don't regret any videos I ever made because um, Regret in my book is so useless as uh, things are already done and I made all the things I ever made for a reason so they're a part of my yeah my history as an artist uh, and I think that um, there are more artsy and more, you could call them more weird ASMR videos that I'd like to do um, but due to my um, I think I'm cautious because I suffer from borderline personality disorder and people get very judgmental about uh, for example if I wanted to do a, uh, a role play where I was a mental patient in a straight jacket or whatever um, that people would be judgmental of that and say oh, it's because she has BPD that she you know wants to do this kind of video or it's because of my uh, 
my disorder that I have uh, multiple personalities like Rosita and Melissa and uh, Karis, Karis, the vampire queen from last year. So I'm cautious with that because uh, of my diagnosis. What was the driving force behind me becoming an ASM artist? Um, I think the driving force was because I could see how grateful people were when I put up a video and they would be so thankful and I really felt like I made a difference for someone. I helped someone to make their life better because to me I um, I experienced to be grateful towards other uh, artists at that point for making certain videos that would make me relax a lot and actually uh, determine whether I would sleep or whether I would be, be awake <laughs> two or three days in a row because of anxiety. So um, definitely the, the appreciation and all the positive feedback and also because I could, uh, it was a whole new way of expressing myself that I had never, um, I'd never really explored that side of myself before. So it was a mix of both things. Um, what makes me truly happy? Um, when I can feel that I love someone and that they love me back. How did I discover my skill? Um, because I can purr like a cat. So how did I discover that? Uh, I actually don't know. Uh, I guess I just practiced because I wanted my my kitties or my, now it's my cat, to feel comfortable when I adopted her. And then I just started practicing purring because like purring is, makes uh, cats uh, relaxed. Yeah, I guess it's just from practice. <laughs> and how is my cat lady doing? She is doing very good. Uh, so she just turned nine years old a few days ago and she's still super perky and happy. How do I deal with our times in life? And what's the greatest thing I've learned so far in my life? How I deal with hard times is that um, to surround myself with people who truly care for me. I reach out to others because I've learned from experience that if you try to deal with your own problems uh, all by yourself, it's really, really hard. So if you share it with someone else, it definitely makes everything a lot easier. And what is the greatest thing I've learned so far in my life? <laughs> That's a really big question. <laughs> um, the greatest thing I've learned in my life so far is that I'm responsible for all my own actions and all my feelings and everything I say and because I'm responsible for all that I also have the power to change everything if I want to. Do I watch Penny Dreadful? Yes, I do. Um, if I were chocolate, what type of chocolate would I be? That is really hard to say because I love so many different kinds of chocolate, but I think I would be, I would probably be a rice milk 
chocolate so a light chocolate with a uh, praline filling do I feel pressure to release video with some regularity in order to appease viewers or keep up in the ASMR community? Um, I definitely feel like that if I want to do this full time, which I am, then I also need to take things seriously. And yes, I do feel pressure to keep up because um, there are so many amazing people in the community that I really look up to and I definitely feel like I, I need to, you know, I need to wake up early and I need to work hard if I want to still have a name in the community. What is the most adventurous thing I've done in my life so far? Um, I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna do it pretty soon and hopefully in only a month's time so I'm looking forward to that that's very adventurous if I could be a Disney princess for a day which Disney princess would I be and why I would definitely want to be Princess Jasmine like a pet tiger and a flying rug Hell yeah. Uh, is there a gender I prefer to have a relationship with? Both on an emotional level and sexual level? Or is gender irrelevant in my case? I'd say that uh, gender is uh, something I care very very little about. <laughs> um, me, For me it's personality that I fall in love with and I'm attracted to. Uh, it's not about what's between your legs, so, or if you have facial hair, or if you don't, or yeah, it's all about the personality for me. What is my stance on sexuality in ASMR videos? Well, um, ASMR as it is, uh, many people say, is already like mm, borderline sexual, or that for some people it triggers them to feel uh, aroused but um, for me, I continue to grow the side of ASMR that is connected to meditation that is connected to evolving a better self-esteem and fighting anti-anxiety and stuff like that but I have made videos myself that are um, have sexual like suggestions <laughs> so um, I think it was fun to experiment for me uh, with the different kind of videos I could make but uh, for me as it is I am uh, I'm not into making ASMR videos with uh, you know sexual content does YouTube provide uh, sufficient funds for me to be a full-time YouTuber? And uh, no, it is not quite enough <laughs> with only with AdSense. But um, I do have Patreon next to my AdSense and I recently uh, said yes to a partnership. So I ex expect on uh, evolving my brand in cooperation with my new partnership which was called Rituals ne Ritual Network Do you still play League of Legends? Yes, I try to play every single day, still Am I open about my channel to the outside world or am I rather vague about it? Uh, I'm not vague whatsoever uh, I'm really really proud of what I do and it's a bold career choice uh, considering you know what people in my surrounding surroundings are doing with study jobs and education and stuff um, but I'm very uh, outspoken about it and I've only gotten positive feedback 
so that definitely helps you or helps me to be more uh, open about it and owning what I do. If you could save both one book, one disc, and one movie, which would you take with you? Uh, so you mean like a title or uh, one book? I think it would have to be a Danish book called Norkraft. Um, one movie I would pick. One movie I could pick, I would pick Princess Mononoke or Mononoke Hime and uh, one desk it's one CD or I don't know <laughs> uh, sorry if I misunderstood the question but uh, one desk, I, I don't know, I'll probably pick my uh, take a look in the mirror, my old corn album. What are my favorite Lush products? Uh, that is a really, really hard question. I think I could dedicate an entire video just for this. Uh, but some of my most immediate f uh, favorites are the Snowman, uh, Sleepy Body Lotion, and Devil's Nightcap perfume and soap. When am I cutting off the rat's nest? Um, like, I'm not gonna have dreads uh, for more than another six months. Uh, I'm just waiting for my own hair to grow back a bit so that I can, yeah, have it cut or something into a hairstyle again and not have it as short anymore. I'm gonna let it grow out a bit. So, probably in half a year, then the rat, the rat's nest is over. What is Halloween like in Denmark? Well, Halloween in Denmark is... Uh, it's very much like America, I believe, where people, uh, kids, go around in their Halloween costumes and they go trick-or-treating and people decorate their houses uh, with pumpkins. We love to cut pumpkins, so. And how do I get my mascara on my lashes so perfectly? Um, I don't know. I guess I just practice. I don't think it's perfect at all, but thank you. <laughs> Any more plans for uh, creepypasta readings for Halloween? What do I find most attractive in women and in men? Uh, as I explained earlier, I am not attracted to gender. Um, I'm attracted by personality. So I think that both men and women each have, you know, of course women can be feminine, but they can also be masculine. And men can have very feminine aspects. So, for me, gender is kind of... It can be very fluid, so... Who am I gonna dress uh, as for Halloween? I don't really dress up for Halloween uh, unless if I was invited to a party or something, then I would probably dress up uh, as a maid from hell or a zombie as Hannibal Lecter. With ASMR seemingly being a female-dominated community, are there any male ASMR artists whose work I like? Uh, I very much enjoy uh, massage ASMR his videos. Uh, I enjoy... I enjoy Whisperfy ASMR. And in general, I really like uh, gaming channels uh, that guys make, <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Uh, who is my favorite Danish person of all time? Uh, 
I think one of my favorite Danish persons of all time uh, has to be uh, Mess Mikkelsen and he has starred in uh, Casino Royale as Le Chiffre and also in the, among many other things <laughs> um, starred in uh, Hannibal a series on Netflix that I really, really love What is my shoe size? I wear a size 41 in a Europe size and I think it's a size 7, 7.5 in UK size uh, which brings me to the next question is how tall I am I am uh, <laughs> I'm 1 meter and 76 centimeters where would I travel next if I could? Uh, I would travel to Japan, Tokyo Do I still use Twitch while playing my favorite games? No, not anymore And will I do Halloween ASMR videos this October? Yes, I definitely will Do people recognize me often? No uh, I've only been recognized very few times in real life So, yeah, not really what does my 27 to 2 signify? And it was this one ah, Right there um, 27 has uh, been a number that has followed me my whole life and it appears to me um, many times throughout the day still when I will randomly look at the clock it will be uh, I don't know, 12, 27, or... Yeah, it, it appears so much to me And I found out that it is a special angel number um, And it says here The number 27 carries the qualities and vibrations of the number 2 and number 7 Number 2 resonates with the attributes of intuition, duality finding balance, meditation and cooperation, sensitivity and selfishness, and selflessness, serving others and your divine life purpose and soul mission. So number seven relates to mysticism, spiritual awareness, persistence of purpose, understanding and introspection, spiritual enlightenment, empathetic and psychic abilities and these energies combine to make 27 the number of the humanitarian of harmony, spiritual insights and unconditional love so that is what that means where do I see myself in 10 years? Uh, I definitely see myself with my life partner um, I see myself living uh, probably abroad so not in Denmark I see myself living somewhere else in the world I can still see myself doing ASMR um, and I see myself having a lot of um, I see myself also as an author and probably doing uh, helping uh, young girls with a borderline personality disorder uh, to give them a better um, idea of how I recovered and how I dealt with my illness Why did I decide to become vegan and how long did it take for me to uh, get accustomed to the lifestyle Was there any struggles? Um, I decided to become vegan um, Because I was vegetarian at one point um, But then I went back to an omnivorous diet And I think I got to the point where I realized That I wanted to lose weight And I started looking up different ways to eat healthy and 
fact I came across the vegan diet or the vegan lifestyle and I've always um, myself have had a bit of you know judgmental thoughts about veganism but I decided to you know break with those thoughts and discover the lifestyle for myself watch a lot of documentaries and both about the health perspective, the environmental perspective, and the ethical perspective. And by the time I was done watching that stuff, uh, it wasn't hard at all. It, it just seemed so obvious to me, like, why didn't I do this 10 years ago? How do you find the passion and drive for your art and your ASMR channel with, with BPD? Uh, I suffer from bipolar disorder and I have no drive um, to keep up with being uh, creative and because some days I would definitely say my my bad days have definitely um, you know has gotten a lot better during the past uh, five years with my illness um, also because I have been very well treated psychiatrically and um, in combination with medication and psychiatric help and a very nice mentor that I have had for two years has really made all the difference so the way that I do things is that uh, I have a schedule where I do things and when I am off, then I'm off, and then I try not to invest any more energy into my channel than the hours I have set for that. So uh, planning is, and you know, having a constructive everyday life is key for me to stay on track. Which video on my channel am I the most proud of? I am proud of all my videos so I don't really have a favorite uh, but if I had to choose one I'd probably have to say the Walking Dead roleplay that I did last year and also the vampire roleplay I did I really loved those Would I ever consider having a Snapchat or other way to connect with my subscribers? Uh, as it is for now I feel like I have I have enough just with Facebook and you can still message me on Facebook and you know yeah say hi to me <laughs> can you experience ASMR through your own videos uh, or do I watch other people I never experience uh, actually sometimes um, I very rarely get ASMR from my own videos Typically when I get ASMR from my own videos, it can be because of a sound, but it's never related to my own voice. What kind of music do I listen to? I listen to many, many different kinds of music genres. Um, I listen to jazz, 80s, 90s music, uh, drum and bass a bit. <laughs> metal, metal, uh, hip-hop, rap, lots of different things. And the most, uh, what is the most difficult about being an ASMR artist and why? Um, I think because you both have to be sensitive towards new creative ideas, but at the same time, uh, the community on YouTube can be quite tough to deal with, so you both need to be tough and soft at the same time. <laughs> Would you ever consider vlogging? Uh, I already vlog. I have a second channel called The Real Lillian, where I put up different kinds of little vlogs, unboxing videos, tutorials, and lots of different stuff. And uh, I have any plans for future tattoos? I'm actually going to get tattooed the 26th of this month, so 
I'm going to have a Death Hawk Moth tattooed, uh, which is my tribute to uh, the Hannibal Lecter movies and in general my love for horror movies. And what is my star sign? I am a Cancer. But thanks so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate all the great questions and I had so much fun answering them for you. I hope you all have a great and peaceful day and love you so much. Take good care and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!